Uh, I always say that I will prefer to assist, but actually it's, it's a lie. I prefer to score. If you weren't playing football, what would be your dream job? And it can't be football related. Yeah. I think I know what I would want to be. I think um, I would love to be like in a pop girl band. <laughs> it's so far from anything that I can do. I can't sing, I can't dance, literally like the least um, talented musical person ever. But that is like, you know, I don't know, like Little Mix. I'm actually like a huge fan. I would love to be in that band. I think I will be a doctor, especially in this time of uh, the COVID. The, to be a doctor and to be able to save even just one life. I think that's, that would be a, a dream job. Are you good with blood and that kind of thing? Uh, I mean, it's not that I'm gonna fail if uh, I see blood, but it's my dream, so. In your dreams, you're fine with it. And in your yeah. dreams, Caroline, you're an amazing singer. Yeah, and yeah. Music. love it. <laughs> um, what was your favorite game to play as a child? I love it. I don't know how to say it in English, but you remember that you just hide from your other friends. So I just love that game because uh, I play it in my grandma house with all my friends all around and uh, the space was huge. And uh, sometimes if you just wanted to disappear, you just take the bike and go to other place and they will try to find you for hours. We still play like teachers quite a lot. I don't know if you guys, one of us would like pretend to be the teacher and the others would be the pupils and we basically just like boss each other around um, <laughs> for hours and shout at each other um, and then take it in turns. Um, so yeah, and we'd like line up in the garden and stuff, pretend we're like taking the lines in and things like that. So um my two sisters actually turned out to be teachers so it must have must have worked but um yeah that was that was one of our favorite games growing up did you like being the teacher or were you the yeah student? i loved it yeah bossing a little brother around yeah i liked it a lot <laughs> so you have three siblings there were four of you yeah two wow. older sisters and a little brother and so all three sisters were the teachers and that your little brother had to be the student. Yeah, he literally he was like the guinea pig that got bossed around and yeah, all sorts of things, poor guy. <laughs> Would you rather score or assist in a game? Uh, I always say that I will prefer to assist, but actually it's, it's a lie. I prefer to score, <laughs> but I have to say that uh, I prefer to assist because I'm, as a midfielder number 10, that's kind of my job. But uh, obviously, to score the goal is uh, the, the important part and the most fun part, so I will prefer to score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would have to agree. Um, obviously, it is great to assist, but I think everyone's lying when they say they don't want to be the one that scores there's no better feeling than scoring a goal so it is obviously as a 10 as well it's kind of our job to assist and and score goals but yeah I, I think when it comes down to um scoring a goal probably love it a little debunking football or debunking okay the next one is what's your favorite football match that you've played in well i will go for uh, the champions league that i won <laughs> because the other two i lost so that was no fun so I will say that game, Frankfurt PSG in the Champions League final. I think that uh, is my highlight of my career, the favorite one. Nice. I think for me, I've not yet reached the Champions League final, so I can't compete with that. But um, probably the Manchester Derby last year um, at the Etihad in front of, it was a record-breaking crowd at the time. Uh, yeah. And it was our, the first competitive Manchester derby against United, um, and I scored as well. So yeah, that's that was probably my most favourite game. Yeah, that was the game. the match with the <laughs> ball. It was yeah. <laughs> the what the one that everyone remembers and always asks. Honestly, them. it's the only goal I've ever scored. I think according to everyone. <laughs> so, um, I think it's time to move on from it. But it was a great game to play in. To be fair. 
The next question is also a bit of a tricky one. Um, it's your ideal five-a-side team made up of female players. Okay, I think I'll go for it. Go. Um, I would pick Jenny Beattie, Scotland's defender. I love playing with Jen. She's, yeah, she's great on the ball defensively. Um, Kelly Smith. Oh, can I choose Kelly? She's retired now, but... Yeah, anyone. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, was lucky enough to play with her at Arsenal and she was about to retire, but she was still by far the best player in the squad. Um, then I would say uh, Medima, um, who I've never played with, but I think she's class and probably the best striker in women's football. <laughs> um, I'll put myself in. And last player I will put in, I'm going to say Kim Little. Um, yeah, obviously played with her at Scotland. Um, yeah, she's a top player and, and great fun to play with. So yeah, I'd go with her. So would you rotate in goal then? Oh yeah, we're not going to have a goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I will choose uh, players with who I played already. So my goalkeeper will be a uh, former uh, Brazilian goalkeeper, Andrea Suntake. I think she was one of the best uh, goalkeepers I played with. Um, I will continue with other two Brazilians, Marta and Cristiane. So this make it three. Jennifer Marosan. And uh, then, I mean, I think that's a fun uh, team. So I will be on. <laughs> so I will be playing also. <laughs> I'd love okay. to see those two teams play each other. I feel like that would be a good match. We will be shooting because they have no yeah. goals. So. <laughs> <They love goals. laughs> if there was a penalty to be taken in a final or any really important match, would you take it? Yep. Definitely. I, I actually, I took one really, really important against Scotland um, in Madrid. Uh, in the last minute of the extra time. Oh, I, yeah, I wasn't at that, but I remember watching it. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah it was crazy. So uh, I always uh, took the penalties and uh, that was the, the most important penalty in the Spanish women's football history. <laughs> and uh, I miss it. <laughs> then thank God uh, I scored in the last second of the game. After that, I, I still, take the penalties in important games. But uh, I don't know, it will be the last one in a final. I will take it, but I think that that penalty will still in my mind. Yeah, it took me a while. It took me a while, but yeah, like then I, I, uh, I continue to take it. But it's still, sometimes it comes to my mind. I don't know why, but yeah, it was a tough moment. <laughs> There was something like 90 seconds between the penalty and the goal, right? Was... Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think Destiny wanted uh, another end. And uh, I'm sorry for Scotland, of course, but it was the best moment of my career. <laughs> <laughs>